Hey everyone, Highcamp's IOSU exploit is going to be released soon for all firmwares, including firmware 5.5. Since a lot of people don't understand the differences between a kernel and IOSU exploit, I'm going to explain and compare both of them. Let's first talk about what the kernel exploit allows us to do. All existing Wii U hacks so far are running through the browser. They require a browser exploit to be allowed to run code at all. Through a browser exploit, they receive user land permissions, which are the lowest code execution permissions. Regular applications and games all have user land permissions, including the browser. It restricts your ability to run code to just your own process, so in this case the browser. It can be compared to a sandbox. You can do whatever you want in there, but you aren't supposed to get out for security purposes. If you still manage to escape, it's a kernel exploit. As we have seen, the OSDriver kernel exploit allows us to, for example, cheat in any Wii U game. Why is this possible? If you manage to escape your own process sandbox, you can read and write memory from any other application, including Wii U games themselves. The current cheating application is called PyGecko. This means that the kernel can influence and modify any other process running on the system, so an exploit will allow us to do exactly that. This is already very powerful, but as you will see later on in this commentary, it has its limitations. You can for example temporarily spoof your system firmware to allow eShop access using the application called NNU Patcher. Then there also is a Wii U backup loader called Loadin, which for example replaces the Mii Maker's executable with one from the SD card to run Wii U games from there. It also is possible to dump content from Wii U games over the network or to the SD card using Caffeine, Dumpin or Savine. It therefore appears as if the kernel has full SD card access. Also there is an application called WUP installer which can install title updates to the system. It is not possible to modify and install title updates, however the original game or system title updates can be installed just fine. Why is that restriction? Here is where it gets interesting since this is where ISU comes in play. The Wii U's operating system is called ISU and it enforces security policies such as only allowing official Nintendo content to be launched or installed on the system. You can say that it prevents permanent hacks such as a homebrew channel from being made. This is why all modifications so far have been temporary only. This is going to change however once the ISU exploit is released. ISU also controls hardware access. Using just kernel permissions you still have to talk to ISU in order to make the hardware do something. Without these restrictions it is possible to fully access the gamepad, USB, internal Wii U storage or network. Let's once again sum up the differences between ISU and kernel. The kernel controls the console's global memory and ISU the verification of system content and direct access to hardware. It is not possible with a kernel exploit to install persistent hacks on the Wii U system, however with an ISU exploit it is. You can ask the kernel to perform certain actions such as installing new content or running certain applications. However, these requests must go through ISU before they are allowed to be executed. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.